kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcasts at a kids company about. We are so glad you're listening to this show, and I wanted to let you know that we've got an entire network of podcasts dedicated to producing original content that talks up to kids, centers the things going on in their world, and engages and challenges how they see the world and themselves. With shows about facts, climate justice, current events, and activism, there's a show out there made just for your kid. Check out the A Kids Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Simone Biles was awarded the bronze medal in the balance beam final at the Tokyo Olympics, her seventh Olympic medal, making Biles the most accomplished American Olympic gymnast in history. Her rhinestone emblazoned leotard boasts goat greatest of all time and if you have any doubt about the 24 year old gymnast or the path that's led her to where she stands today well stick around because it's worth noting On Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021, American gymnast Simone Biles won the bronze medal on the balance beam in her last competition at the Tokyo Olympics to date, Biles has won seven Olympic medals, including four gold medals, in addition to 25 world medals, making her the most decorated gymnast in history. In May of 2021, after returning to competitions for the first time in over 18 months on account of the COVID-19 pandemic, she successfully landed the Yurchenko Double Pike Vault at the U.S. Classic, a move historically only done by men. Biles is literally showing the way for the tens of thousands of gymnasts to follow in her footsteps. Greatest of all time. But listen to this. In 2019, when competing in Stuttgart, Germany, the Fédération Internationale de Gymnastique, or FIG, undervalued Simone's skills. Skills are assigned different difficulty ratings by the Women's Technical Committee of the FIG, and this determines the points a gymnast earns for successfully executing these skills in competition. Biles' triple-double, which is three twists and two flips, also known as Biles 2, was assigned a J-value skill. J is worth a full point of difficulty, and it's the rarest of the scoring demarcations. Each letter is worth 0.1 points, beginning at A and continuing onward to J. D, the fourth letter, is worth 0.4. H, the eighth letter, is worth 0.8. The J value is not assigned often, and it's also not performed often, unless, of course, you count the Biles 2, the triple-double. That's a J value skill, and yes, it's named after Simone Biles. The FIG came under criticism for assigning a much lower difficulty ranking for the double-double, two twists, two flips. On the floor, this skill is an H, 0.8 points. On the balance beam, the FIG decided that in 2019, it would also be an H. To compare, the full in, a full-twisting double-tuck salto backwards, is an E on the floor, and a G on the beam. That's 0.2 points higher for performing the skill on the beam. So why did the FIG determine that the double-double would receive the same score on the floor as it does on the beam? The FIG explained that the reason for the lower-than-expected rating is, quote, due to safety concerns due to the added risk in landing of double saltos for beam dismounts. They scored the skill lower in part in order to dissuade other lesser-skilled gymnasts from attempting the move and hurting themselves. Never mind that Biles is able to safely perform skills that are so difficult that it would be reckless for other gymnasts to ever attempt them. Biles is not the first gymnast to have a skill undervalued by the FIG's Women's Technical Committee, but imagine what it must feel like to have a committee decide that your best is problematic. Your best is too difficult for others to accomplish. In fact, if others see your best, they might want to try it themselves, and they might fail. Or maybe they will fail. So in order to prevent others from even trying, we're going to just say that your best, well, it isn't worth that much in our books. 
You can't do that to the goat. You can't stop the greatest of all time. Biles continued to outperform her competitors, and she used her platform on the world stage and on social media to call attention to the unfair acts of the FIG. But that's not the only thing she calls attention to via her platform. Simone Biles was born on March 14, 1997, in Columbus, Ohio, and she and her sister, Adria, were raised by their grandfather, Ron, and grandmother, Nellie. Simone's mother struggled with drugs and alcohol from age two or three through age five. Simone and her three siblings were put into foster care numerous times when the state felt it wasn't safe for them to be living at home with their mother. Biles is an advocate for foster care kids, both with providing clothes and school supplies to families in need but also by being visible as a face of life after foster care. In July of 2021, she told USA Today Sports, quote, I know exactly how it is, and I know exactly how you feel being a foster kid. I can be a voice for them. I can help them, and I can tell them that they're not alone and that it's going to be okay, that you can also still be great in the world. Being in foster care isn't going to be your only title. I share that with you, not to point out what a kind and caring and generous person Simone Biles is, even though she is. Rather, I want you to think about people who don't get a fair chance in life. I want you to think about opinions people have about others without giving others a chance or without seeing others for their whole selves. The word we use is prejudice. When you unfairly decide something about someone without getting to know or understand them better. The greatest of all time is working to dispel that prejudice through her own accomplishments, but also through how she serves others around her. And now I need to tell you about something that's hard for me to mention, but so important for you to know. It's also about visibility, and it's also about strength and being a light to others. In 2018, Simone Biles was one of several gymnasts to come forward about USA Gymnastics team doctor Larry Nassar. In a post on social media, Biles wrote, quote, Most of you know me as a happy, giggly, and energetic girl, but lately, I've felt a bit broken, and the more I try to shut off the voice in my head, the louder it screams. I'm not afraid to tell my story anymore. I, too, am one of the many survivors that was sexually assaulted by Larry Nassar. For too long, I have asked myself, was I too naive? Was it my fault? I now know the answers to those questions. No. No, it was not my fault. No, I will not and should not carry the guilt that belongs to Larry Nasser, USA Gymnastics, and others. We've talked about sexual abuse on a kid's book about the podcast, and I'll include a link in the show notes for you to listen with your grown-up. Many, many children are victims of sexual abuse, and that is a very sad fact. And that is a very disgusting fact. And that is a fact that needs to be shared. Talking about it shines a light on it, and shining a light on it makes it harder for others to ignore. Simone continues to shine a light by being the only competitive elite athlete named in the court case against Larry Nassar. The greatest of all time will not be silenced. And on Tuesday, July 27, 2021, Simone Biles withdrew from the team finals in gymnastics at the Tokyo Olympics, then later the vault and the uneven bars. In an Instagram post, Simone shared with followers that she had felt the, quote, weight of the world on her shoulders. And that was followed by an official statement from USA Gymnastics, quote, Simone Biles has withdrawn from the team final competition due to a medical issue. She will be assessed daily to determine medical clearance for future competitions. And what I saw and what many, many others around the world saw in this act was the GOAT, the greatest of all time, putting her mental health first and showing to all of us that we can do the same, no matter the stage or the circumstances, the pressure or the expectations, we can look inward and say, not today, and in doing so, show the world our strength. So here's your homework. Watch Simone Biles perform. I'll include a link to her Yurchenko Double Pike Vault at the U.S. Classic in the show notes. And homework part two, reflect on your strength. 
Where can you use your voice, your platform, your privilege, or your power to help open the path for others to follow? I'm Matthew, and this is Worth Noting. Worth Noting is written and produced by me, Matthew Winner. Audio production is by Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. Listen to other podcasts made for kids just like you by visiting akidsbookabout.com. Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcast at a kid's company about. We hope you enjoyed this show, and we'd love for you to check out our growing library of shows at a kid's podcast about. Whether you're looking for storytelling with crafts and activities, fact-finding with experts and enthusiasts, or looking to explore and understand your world better, we have got a podcast for you. Check out the A Kid's Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Yeah.